Good morning, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to find out if this portable air conditioner can actually keep my car cool. Honestly, I really don't think it's going to drop the temperature too much during the day, but I plan on car camping this week, stealth camping at the casino on Thursday. So I'm just wondering if it can maybe take it down five degrees or even to maintain the temperature. And right now it's 77 degrees and only five, 10% humidity. As you can see, it's a definite like desert area. So another reason why I bought this one in particular is because you don't need to plug it in. It has a USB power cord, so I can just plug it into a, uh, so I can just plug it into a battery pack. I actually just got back from the hardware store. I picked up a window thermometer so I can put this in the car and get an accurate reading. Now, one of the things that I did for the summer, because I want to do a lot of camping this summer, I went and I got my windows tinted. And there's two types of window tint, regular dark tint, which doesn't help keep in the heat and insulate. And there's a ceramic tint, which is the one that I got. And it actually helps insulate your car and keep the temperature um, more regulated. I have a uh, window shade in the front here. So let's go ahead and get this thermometer set up so we can get a temperature reading. All right, so I set up the temperature thermometer in the car just so um, it can get an accurate reading right now. There's no air conditioning going or anything, but it's about uh, nine in the morning and it's almost 80 degrees outside. So it comes in here. We have this USB connector and here is the actual unit itself. So the way I understand how this works is here's the water reservoir to where you pour water in here. But this one comes with its own unique feature, which you pull this out and I put the filter in the fridge or the freezer, sorry. So the filter's frozen. Meanwhile, it's using this water reservoir to push out evaporative air to cool down your space. Now, the interesting part is these things don't really work in places like Florida or where it's really high humidity. And I've only seen videos about it done in places where there's like super high humidity. So in a place like this to where there's only 5%, I'm interested to see if it can actually lower the degrees in the car. So let's go check on the thermometer here. It's fairly early in the morning, so it's actually relatively cool, which is why I wanted to do the test now. It says 76 degrees in here. So let's go ahead and get this set up and let's cut to the chase. One of the most common things I see when people do these videos is they do them in a completely enclosed space. You have to have a little bit of airflow, not too much, but definitely a little cracked. Don't want to run the air conditioning at all. As you, if you can see this, we're reading 76 degrees in the car. It definitely feels cooler than it does outside. Um, and that's, I think, just because of the new window tint. So we'll just leave them barely cracked like that. Okay guys, that took a really long time. I had to go and find the battery pack and everything. It got super windy outside. Um, so to do a temperature check now, 78 degrees and climbing. Seems a little hard to set up, I'll give you that. Set it up back here, I'm sweating already. This thing better start working. Okay, so we have a power mode here. Or power pack. Let's turn that on. Let's get this fan going here. Turn it on max and put it on water mode. If you can hear that, this fan is blowing incredibly light. Can you see my hair moving? Maybe? It's 78 degrees at 845. I'm gonna be back at nine. And let's see if this thing drops at all because it's now 77 degrees. So let's check it out then. All right guys, moment of truth. See how it feels in here? Um, It feels like there's a very small little weak fan blowing in here. The temperature is 77 degrees and probably going to continue to rise. This thing is an absolute bust. $20, definitely not well spent. This thing is absolute garbage. If you look at this, the pads, the pads aren't even wet at all. So it's not even a pop proper uh, evaporative swamp cooler, let alone an air conditioner. I spent $20 on this thing. 
And this might be just the biggest piece of crap I've ever seen. Even the freaking Arctic air was better than this. Enjoy cool and clean air anywhere. Bro, this thing has the tiniest little fan. Look at this little fan in here. Look at that thing. Bro, and it's powered off USB. Sorry guys, my hair's all messed up. It's windy as hell. This thing's powered off this little fan. Bro, this thing is the biggest piece of crap. $20, definitely not well spent. I'm gonna have to look into something else. I give this a zero out of 10. Straight to the trash can, guys. I appreciate everybody for watching. This Thursday, I will be stealth camping at the casino and I need to get some sort of portable fan and uh, just like a big old boy with a battery because that thing is not helping anybody. It was just, it wasn't even blowing out water. I just can't believe how garbage that thing was. So I got it from Grocery Outlet. Um, definitely, definitely do not buy that product. And I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, happy to get my car back, guys.